What's up guys? So we're doing a review of junior tennis rackets, kids tennis rackets, and basically just kind of fresh out of the box, gonna take an idea of what the Yonex 25 Junior V-Core is like. I have not seen this racket. I guess we got it from Do It Tennis. And I've actually never seen or played with a graphite framed Yonex Junior racket before. So I've actually, this is, this is like fresh territory for me, which is tough, because I've hit with just about every racket out there in the world. Uh, and first impression, comes with its own case and sleeve. It's nice, that's a bonus. Uh, you know, a lot of times you don't get rackets these days with a case or a sleeve. It's, it's a s simple sleeve, it's not like a bag. This is not something you're gonna be able to store anything else in. Uh, but it does have a sleeve and it's, it's pretty heavy, durable. Hey, keeps the dust off the racket, man. Uh, looks almost similar paint to the, the 100s. If I, look at these, if I look at these side by side, what I see is that it's a really, really close copy. Obviously, the paint isn't really that important in the playability of a racket, but you can see this one's new, this one's new. Uh, this has got a little more sparkle to it. I don't know, I don't know how close you can see, but there's a little flex of paint uh, in this color up here. Whereas on the 25, it's just clean. Uh, looking at them side by side, I think the thing that I look for when I'm looking at a junior racket, when I'm looking at a performance junior racket, a graphite frame, it's actually a molded frame, is I look at, is it the same head as the adult version, as the 27 inch version? And without cutting it in half to figure it out, this looks pretty darn similar. Uh, yeah, I mean, as far as, as far as production quality, Yonex, I've never heard of a bad racket coming out of Yonex's factory. I'm going to assume, and I may be wrong, but I'm gonna assume that these junior rackets are also made in Japan at Yonex's factory. I don't think they farm them out to any other facilities. Uh, so I trust Yonex with their quality control. Uh, beyond that, it feels light. I think that's kind of what you want with a junior racket. You don't want it to feel super heavy, but it feels like it feels like a cut down version, cut down version of the 100. I don't know what kind of string this is, but it looks like a it looks like a pretty standard synthetic. Uh, it doesn't feel like a nylon. This is this is definitely a nicer string than you would come in like a like a, a pre-strung racket you'd buy at like Walmart or Target. Uh, it feels a little bit more like a multi-filament, but I'm not 100 percent sure. But as far as the quality of the string, decent. Most rackets that come pre-strung, I would get them restrung. I think any, any racket, any racket that comes to you and it's already got strings in there, you don't know the condition, the condition of the string, you don't know when it was strung, and you don't know what tension it was at. And generally speaking, if, you're, if they're pre-stringing a racket, they're not putting a ton, of, a ton of good string in there, and there's not a lot of care and consideration. That's not a knock on the people that are pre-stringing rackets, it's just they're, they're churning them out as fast as they can. Uh, yeah, let's let's hit it. I want to I want to hit a couple balls and see how it feels. So the other thing I looked at and again, I, I don't actually know I don't actually know Yonex's process, but it does have the VDM, which is vibration vibration dampening mesh. So when they put something on there, that's there's usually truth in advertising there. They're not gonna they're not gonna advertise something that's on there that's not in there. So VDM, it's just basically it's it, it's it's in the layup. So it's laid up similar to their rackets. The, the new ones have NAMD, uh, which is, it's, it's, just, it's just a different layup, it's a different material that's mixed in there. Uh, my guess is that if we went back and looked historically, I bet we could see that one generation ago or two generations ago in the V-Core was when they only used VDM. So my guess is that with most junior rackets, usually it's just a little bit, not older technology, I mean, that, I don't think that's, that's not fair to say, but it's just, it's less on the, technological pioneering forefront, if you will. They're not putting all of their technology and all their tech and all their materials into the junior rackets because there's just not as much of a need. I mean, it feels pretty solid, it feels pretty stable. I mean, no promises on my swing. My guess is since it says string between 35 and 45 pounds, this racket is strung somewhere around 40. This doesn't feel like 40, it feels tighter. So uh, that's, it just, it just feels, I, I string my rackets personally at about 42. 
and this feels way tighter than 42. Uh, but that being said, that may just be that it's a smaller racket with good strings. Um, yeah, let me, let me have a couple serves. I just want to see what it feels like with the surf. You know, obviously, it's shorter. I mean, I'm used to a 27 inch racket, and this is 25. It's a very, very strange feeling to try to find that hitting point. I mean, that's, that's as good as any junior racket I've ever hit. Uh, this, this is easily one of the five best junior rackets I've ever hit with. Uh, you know, I, I would strongly recommend checking out Yonex for the junior frames. Uh, v Core 25, it's a good stick. Okay, what's your review of the racket? What do you think of the racket? I like it. You like it? Mm -hmm. Okay.